Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Dr. Crypto here. And in this video, I want to talk about CRO, Crypto.com and Bitcoin as well. And also give my price target too. But just look at that daily candle. It's absolutely magic. You know, you, you feel to yourself, we're on this big falling wedge on the daily and we're not going anywhere soon. It's all doom and gloom, boring action, bleeding out against Bitcoin and then as I said in previous videos, my gut feeling was telling me and the charts were telling me at some point we're going to break out. And we broke out. Thanks to uh, the election, American elections, obviously that spurred on Bitcoin with Donald Trump winning. But ultimately, they've got the new roadmap now. We're hopefully going to get more regulatory clarity in the United States of America. And this is starting to get more attention to Crypto.com now and the Kronos chain because we've got that new roadmap, which I went over in a previous video. Check that out uh, for 2024, 2025 and the Kronos chain. And like I said, it's massive falling wedge, and we've broken out of that wedge now. We've come up to a little bit of area resistance here, but my projection is onwards and upwards. I just really do, because just think about it. Back in March, when we had that big pump to the upside, and we hit around about that 18, cents, 18 pence mark, uh, and then we could bled down, we didn't have the roadmap for crypto.com with the banking and the stocks. And we didn't have the roadmap for the Kronos chain. We didn't have Bitcoin sitting at $81,600 from making this video. This is mega bullish. Onwards and upwards. I think it's not going to take us that long to get to a dollar. It's not going to be a straight green candle up to a dollar. It's going to be gradual up to a dollar with pullbacks on the way, no doubt. You know, but my price target here, I'll give you that in a little bit. But yeah, it's looking really great. Broken out that falling wedge and we're on the way onto the upside. But if you zoom out, look at the weekly. Just, just take a look at the weekly from where we are right now. That's not far to a dollar. It really isn't from where we are right now. We've got a long way to go. And once we get past this area resistance around that bound, that what, 17, 18 pence mark, there's nothing stopping us really from making that move. And look at what happened there back in the uh, previous bull market of 2021, we're around about here right now, chopped around, and then we broke massively up to the upside. And that was also partly to do with the big burn that we had, which was announced at the time. And that really, really pushed us to the upside. And look where we are now. And all season hasn't even begun. But what makes me really bullish is just looking at the volume as well. 271.65 million. We're now sitting at 3.692 billion. We're now in position 28. It wasn't that long ago where we were in position, what, 39 or 40. We were, And now look at we're now. We're at position 28, and we're climbing up that table pretty quick. If the momentum keeps on going, I won't be surprised at some point we won't, we'll get back into that top 10. I really do think as if things keep going out of the R, I not, would be surprised in earlier in Q, Q1 of 2025, that we're in the top 10. That's what I'm thinking, especially when old season comes and, and the retail start flooding back. Because why do I think that? Because look what Chris says here. Crypto.com just crossed 10 billion in 24-hour spot trading volume. That is absolutely massive. Absolutely massive. Because we saw in the previous tweet they did, Coin is trading at 68 billion, HUD at 27 billion, Eurobank trading at 72 billion. We are putting it all into one app, and that is going to be massive. And I said it in a previous video what they're doing with the banking, what they're doing with the stocks. When we come into a bear market, in the crypto bear market, there'll be still people buying the stocks, buying crypto, banking, you name it, staking. And that's what makes me really, really bullish. But 10 billion in volume is absolutely crazy. And what they've done over the year, building the new, you know, we've got the Crypto.com Arena, the UFC, the football, you know, they're all out there. And it's all paying off. It's paying off them in lots and lots of money. Uh, and that's why they're able to do what they're doing. They've played the cards right. They've got it right to a T, which is not just good for crypto.com and it's not just for good for uh, crypto, 
but it's also good for the Crow fan. Because at the moment, smash that like. If you bought CRO below 10 pence, smash that like and give us a subscribe. You know, because at the end of the day, all the Crow fam out there who have been buying in the bear market, in the summer lulls, congratulations to you. Because I was putting out in a tweet that you will start to see the fruits of all this DCA, all this pain that you went through and worries you went through when you saw CRO dropping down and you think to yourself, ah, oh, you know, we could just keep bleeding and it doesn't seem to stop. And now the bleeding has been suppressed and it's been stopped. And hopefully we're going to get up to that dollar sooner rather than later because look at crypto.com now. We're looking at the Google Trends as well at the moment and look at that. The search volume over the five years worldwide is starting to push up. This was back in, that was a back in early this year. We had that and we're climbing back up to that point. But because of what they're doing in roadmap, I'm expecting that we're going to get back easily, back up to those bull market highs and maybe even beyond that, to be honest with you, because of what they're doing with the banking and the stocks and the new new uh, incentives for the cars as well. You know, it's, it's absolutely fantastic to see. But look what's happening with the Kronos chain as well. Look what's happening in with the meme coins. They're starting to explode. We've got Merry now sitting at 16.64%. We've got Core sitting at 11.33%. 20.5% for Cracked. You know, so it's starting to make movements now. People are starting to see the Kronos chain. As more and more retail start coming in to crypto, they're going to start gravitating to crypto.com. Then they're gravitating to the Kronos chain, which is going to, if you're holding meme coins, I'm expecting them to make absolutely massive moves to the upside. Because, you know, when we look at like coins like Mary, Mary is starting to break out. And look at that perfectly. We were all, this early this year, we broke up to the upside, came back down. We're in accumulation rage. We have this big falling wedge here and we're breaking out. And we've got this curvature moving up and the trend is your friend. And at the moment, Mary's trend is trajectory upwards. Now, do not forget with Mary, if it gets listed on crypto.com, I'm really expecting that it's going to make some giga move to the upside. Because at the moment, this is without even crypto.com listing Mary. We're making like nice big moves to the upside. And like I'm watching very carefully is alt season as well. We're still sitting at only 39%, 39%. And we're not even there yet. It's getting closer and closer and closer. And like I said, with the charts, we can also look at the Bitcoin dominance. And we go to the Bitcoin dominance. We're getting closer now to topping out as well. We really are getting closer to topping out. And also what we can see on the dominance as well. This is 2018 all the way to 2021. We had 1,065 days of Bitcoin dominance going up. Then we had 334 days of, of dominance coming down. And again, look at that. Just over 2022, all the way up to the time now where we are now. That's been 1,066 days. And now are we going to get 334 days of downside? Now, don't get me wrong. We could get a little bit of an invalidation here for temporarily is if Bitcoin starts making its way up to a $100,000 mark or beyond that, where I think we're going to. I think we're going way up there in Bitcoin uh, price-wise. I think we're going to go beyond $130,000 this bull cycle, and I think we could even get to one hundred and fifty dollars and maybe even two hundred dollars at the moment. But that, that's what potentially could be playing out. Now, if that, crap, if that does happen, obviously, we're going to see a, a lot of the uh, meme coins on crypto.com and other tokens on the Kronos chain as well are just going to make massive moves to the upside and obviously that's going to be a big for CRO as well because like CRO breaking out coming out and resisting break that we're making our way back up and I would love to see us at around about that 50 pence mark again I really would like we did last year and then giga move to the upside on that one but overall we can look at that it's looking pretty pretty spectacular for CRO at the moment but before I get to the Bitcoin charts and my price prediction for CRO, this is why we're breaking out, in my opinion, because hopefully we're starting to get a crypto army with the new president of the United States of America, Donald Trump. And we can see here, Bitcoin breaks 81,000 as Trump election turbocharges cryptocurrency, because now we're starting to get potentially, hopefully, more like clarity regarding um 
regulatory compliance but also hopefully when gary gensler goes we're going to get all those wells notices removed uh, and that can help crypto thrive even further it'll help the crypto exchanges thrive more the miners uh, investors builders developers and we could get going again in america for full swing and turbocharge to the upside in development price you name it, it's exciting times ahead. And this is why I think crypto.com are really, really going to go electric when it comes to America as well. But we can see here, Quinton says here, when everybody starts screaming super cycle or this time is different, it's probably a good time to take some chips off the table. We're not there yet. So enjoy the ride. We've got a long, long way to go and we can see this on the bitcoin chart we have that bull flag we've broken out absolutely perfectly now and now sitting at about about that eighty-one thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars and i say it in every video every video i do we're in that three-year cup and handle massive cup and handle three years and we've got here from neckline and we can stipulate that up to there that's taken us up to around about that 200 thousand dollars and just over are we going to get to that well that's what the chart's saying on the cup and handle that's what it's suggesting now don't forget i don't think that's going to be just a total you know we're going to go up straight line this is going to be over time over 2025 in my opinion it's going to be as we go moves to the upside we're going to get pullbacks we're going to get 10 20 percent pullbacks but those in my opinion are buying the dips like i said nothing i say is financial advice but there's so much bullishness now and Donald Trump isn't even in yet till January. So he's getting all his teams ready. So it's worth watching very carefully what Donald Trump chooses in terms who's who's going to take over Gary Gensler as well. You know, so we've got to look. We've got a strong crypto army out there. You know, we've got the Elon Musks out there and he's got a lot of people in the republic and republicans are quite bullish on crypto a lot of them are they want them to build that get the mining going in texas and other places everything really is so bullish for the crypto space in the united states of america and we see countries adopting bitcoin as well and other crypto cryptos as well we've also got blackrock who's also their etfs it'll be interesting to see what their etf flows are today so we're keeping an eye out on that but also they're looking at tokenization as well so that is going to be good good for the blockchain and cryptos in general you know so it's all looking good we can see Ethereum now has been breaking out as well, which is king at the moment of the year altcoins. As long as that's doing good, Bitcoin's doing good, we're going to get that big old season. And like so with CRO and other altcoins as well, and the meme coins, they're all gearing up ready for a mass explosion. But Bitcoin as well, we can look at Bitcoin on the chart as well. We've got inflows. They just keep coming in. And we can see the curvature up on there. We've got the trigger wave on the weekly. It's only really just starting to keep going as well. So at the moment, it, like, like Quentin says, enjoy the ride. But on that ride, we're getting closer to that euphoria. There will be pullbacks. And, and I don't think these pullbacks are to be scared. But what I will say is that have a plan have a plan where you want to start taking profits the time is now in my opinion to do that to have a plan a strategy where you want to take profits because at the end of the day though we're going to probably going to go into 2025 and mid to late 2025 in the bull market we do not know where the top is you do not want to get caught out at the top and thinking getting greedy as well and then you get left at the top and you're thinking why why did i not take profits but if you take profits on the way up you'll be smiling you'll be one of those winners out of it i've seen many people in the last bull market who were telling who were saying no we're going up to a hundred thousand we're going up to a hundred thousand and then we didn't we topped up around topped out around about what sixty sixty five thousand dollars and went down you don't want to be those people take a plan have a plan take profits on the way up exciting times ahead and it really is exciting times ahead but at the moment like with bitcoin yeah it's exciting definitely if we get to that two hundred thousand dollars what are the altcoins going to do but my price target for crypto.com cro token and i have mentioned in other videos it's three dollars it says on here 3.35 dollars that's the 23x from where we are i think the next leg is to get to that one dollar then two dollars 
and then three dollars and why have i changed my thesis in terms of i'll say in a dollar to two dollars it's purely on the basis of the new roadmap which has come out for crypto.com and what bitcoin is doing right now you know because if bitcoin just go over 100,000 like i said what's going to happen with the altcoins they're going to explode at some point and also the what is exciting about crypto.com and I'm, and eat and don't forget with crypto.com hong kong when are they going to go live in hong kong that is inevitably hopefully soon this year before christmas that's what i'm hoping and the hong kong government have said they're going to relate more crypto exchanges into hong kong and also don't forget we've got south korea for their app as well to go live and then any time now imminently we're going to get where crypto.com can go full whack into the United States of America with full force and start taking up that liquidity. Exciting times ahead. Let me know in the comments what do you think is going to happen to crypto.com. Let me know what your price prediction is for the CRO token as well. I hope everybody has a great day. Take care out there. And like I say, smash that like button, give subscribe. It's always much appreciated and have a plan as well. So I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care.